What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling this cool looking pyramid house in Revit. So if you want to live in your own modern tomb, well this is the house for you. So uh, it's, a, it's an interesting project to try out in Revit because it has these slanted walls with these weirdly shaped windows on it so I thought it would be an interesting challenge to kind of try to model something like this, uh, like this in Revit. So there's going to be a bunch of new things that you you will learn in this tutorial but anyway before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media and if you want to get this project or any of the projects I've done so far over 130 projects you can support me on patreon where for only five dollars a month you will get access to all of my project files as well as some bonus tutorials and there's some one-on-one -on -one training for if you're up for that. Okay, but anyway, let's get started. So here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project. And as soon as Revit starts, I'm going to be setting the units. So I just type in UN and I like to set the units to meters for this one. And then let me just go here into South Elevation and I like to set the levels. So let's set them to uh, this one at 3 meters, then let's do more levels, so you just go over here, LL is shortcut, so you can use that, so I'm just going to type in LL and place one over here, kind of like that, and for the top one, this is kind of just going to be determining the tip of that pyramid, let's do that one at, I don't know, something like 2 meters from here. Yeah, something kind of like that. Okay, so once you have these levels in place, now it's time to start modeling. So let's go back into level 1, and let's go to mass uh, massing and sight, and let's go to in place mass, and you can maybe check this show mass first, but you don't have to, you can do it afterwards. So anyway, let's just call it mass 1, who cares, and now we, it's time to start. So the first thing we need to do uh, to, to model a pyramid, you really need to create a one shape, and then create a void to cut that shape, there just isn't any different way to do that. So to do that let's do the first uh, shape. So go to reference plane and create a reference plane like this and let's just call it reference plane A and then we're going to be creating another one kind of perpendicular to that one and let's call this one B. So the first one A is the one that we're going to be modeling the shape up on, up on and then the, the second one is going to be for the void. And if that doesn't make sense, don't worry, it will make sense in a moment. So let's go to South Elevation, so we're looking at reference plane A and this is the reference plane B of course. So once we're here, you go here to model and then you pick a plane, so I'm just going to be picking uh, reference plane A and then I just like to change this to draw on work plane just to make sure I'm on that plane. So you're just going to start from this uh, intersection over here with level 4, that's kind of the tip of our pyramid, and go at 45 degrees to the bottom and then just pull a line like this. The ne next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this uh, line, uh, then hit tab once and now I can select only this line and then type in MM for mirror that's this over here and then just mirror it over this axis line and then I'm just going to type in TR for trim and extend that's this thing over here and then I'm just going to trim and extend this like that and then let's go into 3D and this is what we get so I'm just going to select this uh, triangle and go here to create form so this is something that you get so you get something that looks like this so I just like to extend it to one side then hover over this line hit tab a few times till you get this face and then extend this face as well and now if we go back into level 1 so this is our pyramid and let's see this is uh, the, west, the west elevation so let's go to west elevation to create a void that's going to cut this triangular prism into a pyramid so let's just go west elevation this is what we have so this is our reference plane A and we're looking at reference plane B which is perpendicular to our view so let's go here to model and uh, let's go with pick a plane by name and let's choose reference plane B f for this one and go from again from this starting point over here down at this is 135 degrees and then you go kind of like this and you kind of select everything that's not uh, your uh, your pyramid and then I'm just going to hover over this line hit tab once select it mm for a mirror with pick access line and then trim and extend this part over here and if I go into 3D 
this is what I get so I'm just going to select this go create form void form create something that looks like that okay so now it's kind of cutting only the half of the pyramid and that's okay so you just go over here hit the tab a couple of times till you select this void form and once you're so once it's selected you can kind of uh, tap tab a few more times till you select the right face and you want this face and you just kind of extend it like this and there you go so now you have a pyramid but now it's just a question of how you create those cool looking windows so let's do one big window on this side like we have on our uh, image that we're working on and maybe we can change this to realistic or shaded yeah, realistic maybe works best okay so let's do this this side over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set work plane and then go and set this plane over here and now I'm just going to go with lines and let's just do an offset of like I don't know one meter let's see what that looks like yeah that looks fine so you just go like this one meter and you offset it off this and then you just go trim and extend and you close it off over here and once you have that you can select uh, this thing and go create form void form and it looks uh, terrible for a second but as you can see over here now this face that's cutting through our pyramid it's selected so we can kind of change it so we want it to just cut just a little bit just like that so just go inside just the tab and now it looks nice okay and let's do that corner window over here that's uh, another interesting window to to kind of try to to model so uh, of course you can add more windows later on if you want I'm just going to be doing two for this one so let's go set work plane pick this side over here and then let's just use lines with no offset and let's just go kinda like this go up a bit you kinda connect it back here and you close it off and you select this and you go create form void form again it looks terrible for a second but you kind of bring this all the way up like that and you just go finish okay so you have one side of that uh, corner window that you want to create so let's do the other side so just go set work plane pick this plane and then just use lines to start from there go to I don't know maybe here then go like that then start from this here and then let's just trim and extend this part and let's see okay we need to close it off so go again line you go from here and you just kind of connect it with this one and now you have a closed line closed loop and you just go void form again looks terrible for a second but don't worry so we just bring this back just at that just like that so it's kind of just cutting a little bit okay kind of like that and you hit finish so this looks nice now and of course you can go over here and maybe edit it if you want to so you can move this face around if you want to change the uh, the the size of the window but I like it it like something like this okay so let's see what this looks like okay that, that looks nice so you just go finish mass and once this is done you can then uh, you can then add some materials to this so this uh, I think this should be done as a roof the the whole outside because realistically it's just a sloped roof it's not really a wall I guess I wouldn't I wouldn't consider this a wall so let's just go massing inside and go roof and let's do this this one so you just pick this side this side make sure you don't pick the windows just kind of the outside and you go create roof and yeah that works or maybe you can uh, modify it and maybe do a smaller roof if you want but yeah this works for now but anyway let's do the glass now so you just go here with curtain system and then you go here and you select that inner triangle let's see where is it you need to maybe zoom in a bit to find it maybe yeah maybe like that okay that's this one let's select this one and this one as well okay this works so you just go create system and it looks like this okay it looks real cool it's kind of following some weird pattern but if you do it one by one it probably won't be uh, at this weird angle so if I maybe undo this and maybe just do this one create system and then maybe I can select this whole system and offset it and change the angle at something I would like to see maybe 
what if I do 45, 45 here, just hit apply. Yeah, as you can see now, you can change the angle and make it something that, 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 that at, at some angle that you want to have. And maybe let's add glass over here, so curtain system here. And can we get this? There you go, curtain system. And to do all the floors, you can do them just by regular mass floors. So you can go here, uh, you can select this whole thing and uh, go here into floors for this one. But first we need to select the mass, so wait for a second. Okay, mass floors, select that and then check, let's check uh, 2 and 3. Hit OK. And now it's got, we've got these floors as you can see over here. And then we can go here to masking in sight and go uh, floor and then we can select this one and this one and it actually creates a regular uh, floor over there or did it wait for a second yeah let's go again mass floors floor let's do this one create floor okay so this is the floor and as you can see it's kind of weird at a weird shape but if we go here in the level that's what level two yeah you can uh, you can go around and edit that uh, floor you can I need to go into 3D for this one, yeah. You, need, you can select that wall and go edit boundary so you can cut out all of these kind of inconsistencies. So maybe go like this and delete this part and do the same thing here maybe and just kind of make it uh, make it a bit more, a bit smoother. It shouldn't be kind of cutting through glass or something like that. So it looks a bit nicer now and maybe fix it up over here and delete these two lines. But anyway, let's just go finish, yeah. Okay, but you get the point. This is how you create your modern pyramid house in Revit. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you want to get this model, go to Patreon. You can download it there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.